Hey guys, so I wanted to do a haul video. Oh my god, a lot of cute stuff lately and I wanted to show you guys. Especially because most of it was actually a really good deal. I guess I'll start with the stuff that's like not such a good deal. So the first two things I got were Lululemon tank tops. Now I'm a pretty big fan of Lululemon. I just think they make your butt look so cute and they are fairly durable even though I have noticed the quality is not as good as of late. But anyway, so I got two tank tops. So this one is I think the Power Y tank top. It has a little racer back like this. Little Lululemon logo on the back. Shelf bra in the front, so that's nice. You don't have to wear a sports bra with it. So this one I maybe didn't like so much. Um, I was kind of surprised because I tend to like a lot of like racer back stuff. And I like thin straps. But I feel like this tank top in particular, the style, is not really flattering on my body. Because one thing about having a larger butt or whatever, you get... You kind of deposit fat or you just like are more meatier right on top of like your back hip bones. Um, and I feel like this really emphasizes that. Like it squeezes it in a really ugly way and it just is really not flattering. So I probably would recommend this to other people who kind of like have like a similar body type to me. More pear shape if you're heavier on the bottom. Just because for some reason this makes you look just like really bad on the bottom. So I didn't really like that so much. The next thing I got because I got a deal on this tank top in particular was a red razorback tank top. Now this is the cool, I think it's called a cool razorback. Now I actually really like this tank top. I used to have a size 2 in it until that girl stole my stuff. And so now I don't have it anymore. So I got a sale on it but that sale was kind of like time sensitive. So I just got a size 4 because that was all they had in store at the time. And the girls were like, oh, no, 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 don't worry, it'll fit, it'll fit, even though it's a size 4. And it does not fit, don't believe them, because the chest goes down to, like, right here, like, really uncomfortably low, much lower than your sports bra. And so it just looks weird. Um, it looks like you borrowed, like, your boyfriend's tank top or something. I really love these if you get them in the right size, but I'm probably going to be blog selling this, because I wore it, like, twice, and I was like, ah, it really doesn't fit. It makes me look ridiculous. So, you know, it would maybe work for you if you're, like, much heavier up top than I am, but I'm obviously not too heavy up top, so it looks stupid. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the next thing I got, I actually really like this, so um, my friends came from NorCal the other day, and they wanted to go clubbing for whatever reason, so we went, and I didn't have any dresses, right? And I've been out of the clubbing scene for so long, so I hit up all my favorite websites, hit up all my favorite stores, and I feel like no one makes cute dresses anymore. I don't understand why. Like, I had a really hard time. I probably searched for, like, a month and a half before, because I knew that they were coming down. And so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to wear a skirt. So I went to Forever 21, because that's obviously the best place to get skirts, I think. And then I found this really cute red one. It's like a little red mini skirt. A little bit longer than a mini skirt, though. And then it has a pretty gold zipper on the back. I love the gold zipper. I don't know why. And then you guys can see the texture. It's like this ruffle texture. So I really love this skirt. And it was only $10 or something. So it was such a good deal. Very flattering. Really cute. Short, but not like too short. And so I really like it. Kind of cute and sexy. But seriously, where are all the cute clubbing dresses these days? I don't understand why it's so hard to make like a cute small dress. So anyways... I told you guys I have been like super obsessed with Marshalls just because they have a lot of really good shoes. I don't know if you guys know. You know, I always compliment my friend's shoes. It's like, dude, I get them all at Marshalls and, you know, sh they sell guest ones. They sell BB. But you just, most of the time they don't really like have ones that are like super fashionable. But then once in a while they do. So it's worth popping in. I love popping into their shoe section and I love popping into their like homeware section. A lot of you guys asked me where I got my little containers where I like keep food and stuff back when I was in college. And that was where you guys can get a lot of really cute, nice Tupperware there for much cheaper. If you guys are into Tupperware, I love Tupperware. This is the kind of thing that came with age. So I got these shoes. Now, I don't even know what brand this is, Mango, but it was actually pretty cute, I think. They are only $25. Look at them. Pretty cute, huh? So I like them up close because, like I said, they're not actually like super cheaply made. But the only problem I could say I have with these shoes in particular is like this little part right here is slightly uncomfortable. When I walk, sometimes it'll like dig into my skin, <laughs> so it doesn't feel that good. I think if I put like a pad right here, it would fix that. So I'm probably gonna need to buy a bunch of those little pads. But it's a little stiff right here, this little opening, and so it just kind of hurts sometimes when I wear them for a long time. And the shank is actually a little bit stiff as well, so. I mean, it's slightly uncomfortable, but I still think they're really cute, and they do, like I said, have a lot of guest shoes. And so I saw this hanging when I was walking past. I don't know if they do this on purpose, if they, like, choose ones that hang, stick out, but I saw this sticking out, and I was like, oh, this is cute, and I was wearing this in my last video. So it's just a, you know, like one of those sheer blouses, nothing special, right? Just a cream one, gathered sleeves right here. Basically just a cream sheer shirt. This one's, like, super sheer, but I don't know, I think it's still cute. And it was only $12 or something, so super cute. So recently, it was the Bloomingdale sale, and so I got a bunch of stuff on Bloomingdale's, and this was actually, I think, from last season, but 
it's just like flip flops so it's a big deal so i got these tory bridge flip flops um i have the hard ones like the hard plastic ones that are like 135 or whatever but they're really uncomfortable like i really don't like them i like how they look but i hate how they feel and they were just so hard to break in they were giving me like back problems it was crazy so i got these foam ones instead and they were on sale for maybe 30 dollars. they have like a little silver logo right there I wish that they would not have like these designs on the bottom, they would just have like some kind of clear solid color all the way through, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers. So this is kind of how I think all of their foam flip flops go, so these are a really good deal. I really like these. Very cute. Waiting for summer to come around so I can whip them out. And the next things I got were from YesStyle, so uh, I got this little gray sweater. And so I was trying to get a bunch of their clothing just because, I'm sure you guys already know who Sylvia is, but Sylvia Beauty Cakes. Clash beauty cakes. So she always finds really cute clothes from Yesta, and I was like, dude, how do you even have the energy to flip through the thousands of pages of clothing that they have? Because they really have so much clothing on there. And then she was like, once you figure out like what brands you like, then you'll find ones that are really cute. So you just have to figure out what brands you like. So I figured out that I really like Puffy. I really like Tokyo Fashion, and there's like one other one I can't think of off the top of my head. And so I ended up pretty much just getting stuff from those brands, and those brands seemed to kind of like suit my style a bit more. And so I got this sweater, and everything I got from Yesta I think was at the most like $20, $25, everything was pretty cheap. And so they had a big sale recently. So this gray off-the-shoulder sweater, I know you guys tend to like off-the-shoulder stuff. It's a little bit thicker, I like that, it's like actual sweater material. You know, a lot of my off-the-shoulder sweaters are just kind of like long sleeve shirt material, but this one's a lot thicker, so I actually kind of like that. And then I also got this little leopard scarf, I don't know why I got this, I just thought it was cute. So it's like super long and thick, but they had it, when they had it on the model, it was like much thinner. So you guys could just like wear it, I don't know. It looks super comfy and warm, and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I think it was only, this one was really cheap. I think this one was like 15 bucks. I don't know, I'm going to have all the prices down in the description box because I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. And then I also got a bunch of accessories from them. So I got this little babe collar necklace. I realized H-Style and So Central, those two brands, make a lot of cute jewelry. So I got this little bib necklace. You guys can see. It's pretty typical, right? I feel like a lot of people make stuff like this now. So I got this. And then I also got two necklaces from H-Style. This one was like a long chain. I really wanted long necklaces so I could wear and like kind of have ones when I have a really not so flattering boat neck top on. Then I could have the longer chain necklace and that would make it look kind of better. So this was one of them. This is probably my more favorite one of the two. It has like little circles. You guys know I kind of like that kind of design. And then I had another one that I got. And this is the one I probably didn't like as much. I like the pendant. Like I like how the pendant looks. I don't know if you guys can see right there. I like how the pendant looks, but I don't really like the chain. It's like this little ball chain. And I feel like it looks kind of cheap together. I wish they had done like a nice little gold chain like how they did on this one. I think this one, the chain's much better. So I maybe don't like this gold beaded chain as much. But And then the last thing I got from Yesda were these little shoes. Uh, they're kind of crazy, but I thought that they would look really cute with skinny jeans. It's like leather strap and has all these buckles. So pretty crazy, but I just wanted some cute shoes to go with like skinny jeans when I was wearing a really casual, you know, maybe like off the sleeve top, skinny jeans. I think this would give it a little bit more edge and edgier. And these ones actually fit really well. Sometimes, like I said, I really struggle with Yes style clothing and shoes, but these ones actually fit really well. I was surprised. Very sexy, really cute, pretty well made, you know, because I did have some problems with some of the other brands I tried. So I'm not sure which brand this is because this is probably in Korean and it totally is. But I'll give you guys links down in the description box if you guys are interested. But this one was the one, the, probably the most expensive. Thing. I think this was maybe like forty dollars. Oh, the last thing, my nail polish. This is OPI Ski Teal Ski Teal We Drop. <laughs> Ski Teal We Drop. Kind of a darker, more winter appropriate nail polish. It's really opaque within one coat. It was almost opaque, like ninety percent opaque. So you still want to do like two coats, but it was really pretty. I really like it. I didn't think I would like it, but super gorgeous so anyways that is my haul i hope you guys enjoy probably my favorite thing just because it was such a good deal and it's really cute is this skirt the forever 21 one i love it so cute okay that's it so i will talk to you guys later bye